Hello, this is uh, February 26, 2022. And I have here Ariana Caroli, the Italian artist. And she is the, um, hold on a second. She is the, this is her book. This is Ariana's book. It's called um, On the Way, In Camino. And it's a wonderful, wonderful book on art. And her art, I guess, is all over the world. And she, you're now in, she's now in Thailand. And this is her painting. painting and she's disappeared for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ariana, you want to uh, just, you want to say anything? What have you been doing? I haven't been in contact with you for a long time. This is um, in New York. Ariana was, um, she, it was just an incredible studio she had. And with, with, the, with the dinners and the meetings, and all this, it's just, uh, oh, I really miss, I miss that life, you know. And, and the, the, the nights with the Montague Allman doing the dream workshop with my dervishes on the wall, yeah. that yeah. was a dream. <laughs> that oh. was a dream. I miss you. You know, I never find that I'm, I'm kind of moved a um, little bit because um, this morning, since I knew that we were we were about to meet, I was uh, I had so many memories coming back to me of the time together in uh, New York when uh, we used to go to the meditation. When did we go in Queens? Queens we of Brooklyn. The, the Sufi, we went to the Sufi dances, the Sufi work. We went to the Sufi, we did the everything together. Yeah. We, we, we were doing a walking meditation, we were doing one day retreat with no talking, just uh, meditating the whole day. I mean, uh, we did the incredible thing. It's uh, thanks to you, Bill, that I discovered uh, Master Eckhart, uh, Joseph Campbell, it's you. It's thanks to you that you know my my mind open up and my heart, and um, we share beautiful moments. Uh, the ones with the Montague Holman are very very special, and you keep his legacy alive. So well, that's I do my best. Thing. I'm not sure if I'm very good at that. I, you know, it's um, I'm I'm way far. I'm isolated. I'm way out here in the middle of Taiwan, and. Um, I don't know how good I'm doing of keeping his legacy alive. I wish I could do a better job. Um, well, tell us about the painting behind you. This is your newest painting? This is, yes, nobody has seen this painting. I did it for myself. It's like a piece of bravura, I would say. There is all my soul, my, my everything in this painting. All the flowers I like, the, those are not really real because if you see, the, the poppies, the real size of the poppies like this. So look at the size of my poppies. Um, you know why, once you ask me why you paint flowers, and I think uh, I have now the answer. Because uh, when you are in front of a flower painting, you relax. When you are in front of an abstract painting, you feel like you have to interpret, you feel like you have to be smart in giving the right interpretation. When you are in front of the flower painting, you say, oh, okay, it's a flower painting. Boom, you open up, you relax, and the energy coming out of the painting really invades you. You, 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 are, you absorb it, and this is exactly what I want. You are vulnerable. To the, to the energy uh, that I put in my painting. This is uh, all Ariane. Color exaggerated. This pink, which is orange mixed with the uh, fluo colors. It's, uh, I, had, I had really fun to paint this and also was an obsession because the first thing in the morning, I sleep in the next uh, room. First thing I come, I open the window and many times, so most of the, uh, the times I see, oh my God, I need a little bit of brown here. I need another touch of green. So 6.30 in the morning, uh, I'm, I'm already painting. 
you know, with no coffee, nothing, just. So, and when this happened, I'm so happy. Uh, and this happened all the time for months. It started in January, so it's uh, three months. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I think it's very real for flowers. You know, the, um, about the abstract painting, I, I read a book by Ian McGilchrist called uh, uh, The Master and His Emissary, the, uh, whatever, I can't, it's a longer title, but it's about the left brain and the right brain. And the left brain has these abstract things to sort of disconnect it. Whereas the right brain is like the flowers, it's nature. That's nature. A flower is a natural thing. We don't create it. And there's, you're right, there's no interpretation. It's, it's, it directly hits you, it hits you. That's art. I, I agree, I agree with you. And, I want to hit you, I want to. And also, you think that this is a painting of flowers. No, it's a mandala. Oh, it's I knew that immediately. That's what my first thought when you showed that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, you have to get lost. You look at, then your eye, from here, this uh, leaf brings you down. This uh, little flower brings you down. And this leaf brings you up here, up, right, right, down. So you get lost. You don't think anymore about you. your life, your problem, nothing. You go into the center of the labyrinth. Because they are meditation pieces, they are labyrinth. You know, Arianna. Arianna is the name of the of the girl who gave uh, Theseus the golden thread to find the way out of the labyrinth in Gnosso. So everything to me is connected to mythology. Meet Joseph Campbell. If you are listening to me, thank you, thank you, wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> the power of meat. The, you gave me the hero with a thousand faces. I still remember. We watched those those Joseph Campbell tapes together. I mean, yes. um, I feel you said get lost in this, but I feel the words get found. I feel with your paintings, I look at it and I get found, and I find myself, and uh, I find the way out. Maybe find the way out of myself, you know. But it's, the paintings invite you into something. Just so beautiful, luscious, luxurious. It's really mysterious. 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 There is a mystery. It's the mystery that we have inside. We are discovering the mystery. So, uh, but this is what we are discussing here. Is uh, in all uh, in all my paintings. Mm, even from the beginning, sometimes, you know, sometimes you remember we spoke about the perfect imperfect. Sometimes uh, it's like in this case, I want to show you. This is um, a painting I started. Uh, <coughs> I started in uh, November, December. And uh, to me, there is something. Uh, is a perfect imperfect. There is, a, for some reason, I don't want to go further. So I keep it here, and uh, every time I discover, because it's very unconscious. When I do at this level, the paintings, uh, I don't control, I just go like this. Maybe we do another video uh, with the. Uh, I want to explain my method. I think that would be nice. So. Okay. Yeah, you enjoy the, this is called Bouquet Sontuoso. Sontuoso you, you, is Italian, you translate sumptuous, because for sumptuous. me, sumptuous sum is the word that fits that painting, is sumptuous. Yeah, sumptuous, it's luxurious, there's juice, juiciness. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy to see you, Billy. You have fabulous friend. I, it's too bad we're so far apart, you know. But That's we are not so far because the Taiwan is very close to Bangkok. Actually, we are sort of close now. Nobody can go anywhere. We, I stay at home all the time because of the virus. But you know what? These two years have been at the most wonderful years of my life. Aww. First of all, I'm still alive, which uh, I mean, I don't take it for granted. Yeah. 
But secondly, I always live uh, in isolation. I live uh, in uh, lockdown because I'm uh, with myself, with my paintings. It's not like uh, I have this big uh, social life. So for me, it was nothing. The lockdown was a joy. The only problem sometimes I had with the, with the food wasn't easy to get the food. <laughs> That's the only problem, uh, if it was a problem. So I produced a lot. Thank God I had a lot of gold that I brought from Italy uh, in 2019, because the last time I traveled was December 2019. I arrived here and then in January, the whole explosion of yeah, all this. Yeah, so yeah. for the past two years, I have been in my room, uh, a room with no view and uh, just walking. <laughs> yeah, I have no view. I see a Chinese guy across, uh, the, across the street. Uh, now we wave a little bit. He's a young guy and uh, he goes out in the terrace. I goes out, out in the little terrace. No view. Even if in Bangkok you have a place where the view is beautiful, you have a wonderful sunset. Here, nothing. At the beginning, I was upset. And then I said to myself, Ariana, there is a reason because you have to go inside. The interview. Yeah. Interview. You have a beautiful interview. Who cares if you see the sunset or the sunrise? Doesn't matter. This time is uh, the time to look for the interviews. So, look. Well, that's what I felt when I first saw this painting, that this is a picture of your inner, inner world, your inner self, our inner self, the beauty that we have within, you know, it's just so, it's so various and beautiful, not one kind of flower, so many different kinds. You know, I used to be a botanist when I was very young. I remember <laughs> you are a scientist. You know everything about the orchids, right? Uh, not everything about orchids. I, you know, I've forgotten so much. But I, I just, uh, I've always loved flowers. <laughs> so. There is nothing more beautiful than watching the the dance of the flowers and, and you know many of those flowers don't exist i create them I, make, I don't know these little bells i love them uh, i make them in different colors but they don't exist it, they exist in, in my heart in my in my fantasy or maybe in some place in the earth they exist i don't care another time if you are interested i will explain because this color are uh, optical color meaning it's not this is not a pink it's a pink that i get mixing different layers of colors uh, orange pink orange again so the um the plans of, of the painting goes like this it's impossible to copy that's another point i live in thailand where you can copy anything there is a place in pattaya a studio with many different artists. You bring a, a Degas photo, photo of a painting of Matisse, and you say, I want that one meter by 130 according to the size that you want to put in your wall. And they copy perfectly. Okay. Wow. It, it costs nothing, very little. They are very skilled. But a friend of mine wanted to try and I brought one of my paintings to copy. And then they said, this we cannot copy because it's impossible to do that kind of optical colors. <laughs> we can do a pink, but we cannot do, because there are 10, 15, 20 layers. Yeah. And then I erase, and then I put another color, and then I erase. But you know the process, what you see in the final step is not as important as what you do not see the process the, the moment journey, the journey is the more journey. important than the destination yeah, yeah. i mean the, 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 the nights of the grail what was important they never got the grail but is the transformation happening during the journey isn't that true yeah yeah so this is, and, and I was really, and this friend of mine also was really surprised. 
He said, how come you copy everything? He said, no, this we, we cannot copy. It's not, it's gonna be completely different. It's not gonna be that. This is only she can do, they say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's, that's wonderful. It's a nice story, right? There's a word in English, inimitable. You're inimitable, nobody can imitate you. Yeah, in, 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 in Italian is inimitabile. Oh, they have it in Italian too. Inimitabile, which means not imitable. Yeah. No, yeah. So, yeah. Ariana, what, what, are you, what are you doing these days? You're painting all, all the time. Yeah, I paint. I have all different, and the space is very little, but I took all the furniture out. I paint, I have, this is the way I usually, carry when I was traveling going to America Singapore I carry the painting rolled up because this huge painting I can unstretch and roll up and put in this uh, tube so you see the <laughs> from the air, air company and um, also to store them um, so I paint I, I do a lot of meditation you know, my day starts with uh, at least 22 minutes of meditation, uh, sitting, and then I do a little walking. You remember yeah. <laughs> what we did, walking meditation, then, uh, then I have a breakfast, unless I already start, as I told you, this painting was amazing. Uh, at 11 a.m. I'm still doing, uh, and let me show you, this is a painting I really, very special. It's called the mandala. The, it's a summer mandala. I painted the last year. And it's an all gold leaf from Florence. You oh, see? Yeah. You see the gold? You see how the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like a labyrinth, another one. The flowers are a little bit more abstract. It's more like a mandala. I like this one with black. I like the black. It's the one on the wall, but the black is like, it reminds me of the night. It's like a dream. It's like a dreamy mind, you know? Yeah. And out of the blackness comes all this color. You know, the, this starts with the black background. You know, the, the gold, is the only alternative to black, and the black is the only, only alternative to gold. The gold and the black, they make the space disappear. This is why. Wow. Some, uh, there are some angels, uh, icons of angels in uh, Padova, Padua, in the museum, that they are uh, gold background so you see this angel the wings with the gold but and then next three angels with the black background oh when i saw them oh i said okay my paintings will have a black background a gold background because the black and the gold they make the space disappear there is no space you see no, it's I love the black. I love the black in that painting. And those flowers that you said you made up, I've seen plants like that, you know? I've seen flowers like that. I forgot the name of the plant right now, but they, they have plants like that. Yeah, yes, of course. These are uh, tulips. Some of them are trees and these are, I don't know if a star like this exists. Um, this, uh, are uh, in you know, originally this is like this original look the way also the proportion the proportion makes them become something else but uh, what uh, i told you i repeat I, and also the vase look at the vase i love painting those vases it's like uh, the grail is the grail every the grail uh, explosion of flowers from the grail this, uh, if you see from the uh, uh, clothes, is uh, hot pink and orange. Sometimes you look and you see the orange, but then you look and you see pink because they go like this, different, uh, different planes. 
different uh, pictorial planes. Maybe you, if you have some friends interested in my Instagram page, I explain how I proceed, uh, what is in my method. The method is not a system. My method is something uh, that uh, is versatile. You can, you can change because the system is, is strict. No, my method, I learned in New York when I did a lot of seminars and master classes with Jack Berthaud. Jack Berthaud, now he passed away, but his, um, his paintings uh, are in the museum and uh, $500,000, uh, $800,000 uh, painting oh, we are talking wow. about. And uh, he gave us a few tools and I keep, uh, I keep, uh, blessing him when I use those tools. One is that I always start with the grid. Um, I start with the uh, dark colors. You remember when I was uh, doing the class with the Vladislav Andreev, the master iconographer? I did uh, three master classes with him. Well, I, uh, in the icon writing, uh, Byzantine icon writing, you start with the dark colors if you go from dark to light, like in the spiritual life, spiritual mm -hmm. life, you know, your, your soul is rough, it's dark, and a little by little, you go lighter, lighter. So I do the same. So uh, at the beginning, I don't even use color, only use uh, the earth colors because uh, I need to find the value. So this pattern is very, and this flower has a lot of light, but these flowers, they are more inside, so there is less light. So I have to find this dense, this balance. And you cannot do it if you use the colors, because the colors distract you. Instead, if you only look for values, values are light, medium, dark, basically. So you have to study the lights, study the, the composition. It's very simple, you know, I, I did many classes with the young people or older people. If you get this, you come out with a very nice painting. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, happy to share if you, if you like. Uh, but in any case, in Instagram, I always post. Uh, are you on my Instagram or not? No, I'm not on the Instagram. I'm like a computer dummy. I'm not really, you know, I just, and also my, my connection is, is bad. My cell phone is broken. I connect with a cell phone. Um, but I remember New York. I, I think you were, Ariana, even before you had that method, I think you were always great. I remember you doing the most beautiful painting and then you just scraped the paint off the whole painting. It, it started all over again. I couldn't believe it. You know, and and then you may I think you made a, a film of the different versions of one painting, the different versions you went yeah. through. Yeah. So, uh, it's like a writer how you throw away a, a version and and then you start a new version and it's uh, only an artist can do that. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. But the thing is that uh, you have to be fearless. Uh, uh, the, the another thing. But you know, because I've read your things, how beautiful uh, novel you you destroy because you had another idea. This is the world, what I do. We cannot fall in love with a little grass stroke, a little color. You have to think globally, the whole painting. So, okay, if I say, oh, how nice, I like this, but then it doesn't work anymore with the how, the, because I work in all the painting at the same time. It's not going from the center, no, 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 because the energy needs to be the same energy <laughs> in, all, in all the surface, like in your, in your pieces of writing. Cannot if you uh, after three days, if you only work here, and then after three days, you work here. You are completely in a different state of mind, uh, energy. So you have to work in all the painting. This is another thing, Jacob. Ariana, you're using the right brain method because according to Ian McGilchrist, I'm reading his other book now. He's really amazing. The left brain starts with the pieces and builds the 
to hold up from pieces. It's like working with a machine. The right brain sees the whole thing and somehow can, can do the whole thing, pieces and all, it's all connected. And that's what you're describing. You're describing a, a right brain approach and I think it's brilliant, you know. Well, this is how I do it. And this is how this fearlessness uh, in my painting is the same I have been using in all my life. No fear. You remember in New York, sometime I didn't even have the money to eat, to, to buy the groceries at D'Agostino. Sometime, boom, I had a lot of money because I sold the painting. But you never know when you sell a painting. Look, you know? I've been through that too of having, you know, you know. You know, exactly. I, so you have a courage and no fear. It's not like you have no fear. You know, I, I, I posted also on Instagram this quote about fear. Because we always think that brave people have no fear. The truth is that brave people are acquainted with fear. Yeah, it's different. You, you're afraid, but you don't give in to that. You move ahead. Yeah, I, I know. I, I live that same way you do. It's a creative way, you know. And I'm like you. I'm I'm sort of isolated here in Taiwan, very much so, you know. And um, except for my dream group, that's the one thing. I hope you join someday, you know. Yeah. We meet tomorrow. But but listen, no, tomorrow I cannot. I have to go to see a house, maybe uh, to do an installation. I'm not sure. But uh, I will do. And also, I think as soon as we can start uh, uh, traveling, because Taiwan is like uh, from Bangkok, a two hours flight. Not a two hour flight? Even less. I think it's too, it's very close. We are very close, Bill. But now, what time is it uh, in Taiwan? It's 4 49. Ah, uh, uh, here is 3 49. Oh, so that's what happened is our time is different. Yeah, but only one hour. You did, this is why we were confused. That's why we, we got, I got confused because I, I didn't know. I thought it was the same time. No, no, no. It's one hour. I'm one hour uh, before you. Oh. I, yeah, 3.49. And I remember, you are when, when I flew to Thailand, we, we were going over Laos. And I, I was just so amazed that I was over Laos, this place I never thought I would go over Laos and Vietnam. Of course, it was, it was at night and it was way high up, but it just amazed me to fly over those exotic places and land in Thailand. Bangkok is a wild place. <laughs> Bangkok, Bangkok is a metropolis. I mean, it's huge, millions and millions of people, millions of cars, but you can live like a monk, like me, like this. You know, if you um, if you don't want to go to this uh, fancy places, the only things that I love that now I miss, but they are reopening, going to these temples with these gigantic Buddhas uh, in gold and people praying and the monks uh, all in uh, orange robes uh, chanting. Oh, the chanting, oh, this uh, very deep sound. Oh, I, love the, I love that. I love the chanting. Ah! And then you go out, you have a gong, a boom, that resonates. I mean, all your chakras, they go like, ah! <laughs> Amazing. I mean, I like to sit in the back when they, usually at 6 p.m. the monks uh, everywhere, they, they do the chanting. But now with the COVID. You can't do it. Nothing. No, nothing. Yeah, of course, yeah. But doesn't matter. We have everything already inside. Bill, you already have. I have. Yeah, yeah, there's no doubt. <laughs> yeah. it's so we nice are very lucky, lucky, very fortunate that uh, we had so many wonderful experiences in our lives, right? Yeah, yeah. But those were very rare and special years. I think I met you at a Tai Chi, tai Chi weekend upstate. Yes. No, we met in a Tai Chi in uh, Union Square, no? And then we went to the weekend. Oh. You remember? Yeah, I, I miss New York, you know. I still have the apartment there, Ariana. You you have a rented? No, I can't, they won't let me rent it. It's, a, it's very rigid. 
but I, I just uh, I hate to give it up. It's like my spiritual center. I have a brick wall, and up on the brick wall there's this this Buddha, the same color as the bricks. And uh, when I get there, I feel at home. Like uh, I suffered so much in that apartment in that neighborhood, but it's funny now. I feel like I, I love that place, you know. But I'm going to have to sell it very soon because I I'm running out of money. I've of already run out of money. Doesn't matter. You already have it. It's still the tree. You remember when you planted the tree that was a little tree like this, and now it's huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, those were the years. I never forget those years. Me too. And when we took the uh, subway sky train and went to Queens, and then there were those uh, masters. I think they were from Taiwan. You remember they were giving lectures in the center. They were from Taiwan, yeah. They were from Taiwan. And, and then uh, uh, the first time uh, we had the lunch there, and then you, you have this lunch. Uh, I didn't know you, you are supposed only to uh, put in your plate what uh, you eat, because in any case, the, you are forced to eat everything. And you remember the last minute that you put the hot, hot water in the plate, and then you have to. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That for me was the first time, and then everything makes sense. And then you walk slowly with the mindfulness, awareness, you eat with awareness. Those are teachings that, that I think they shaped you and me forever. Well, I think your art, I always find in your art is a spiritual practice and it's a spiritual message. It's just a spiritual feeling. I have your book here with so many, so many, um, if it just open at random, you know, it's just so, so amazing that the different, it's just beautiful, beautiful. I mean, honest to God, you know? It's yeah. Beautiful, beautiful work you've done. Yeah. You I, can I tell you something about this? These are the icons at the, the beginning of my work with gold. Listen to this. I never told anybody the story. I want to tell you, maybe it's time to say goodbye, but this is a story. Okay. I'm painting flowers here and there, but I was looking for something a little bit different. So one day I am on uh, Madison Avenue, 72, 73. You know, you go up on the right, there is a Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, uh, uh, the main store, which is a townhouse, beautiful. Before Ralph Lauren, there was a church, not Catholic, but some, I go up, I feel like uh, pulled. I go inside the church. I look at the altar, but my eyes get caught on the left. On the left, there is a, a painting like this, rectangular with a vase of flower, gold background, an icon of... <gasps> I said, okay, that's it. This is it. I have to do gold. I have to do uh, uh, icons, gold, the background, whatever. You always so take everything as a message. But listen to this. Then, uh, after two weeks, uh, I want. I went back again because uh, I said this time I want to take a photo. I want to see how is that. There was no more. Look, okay. I have all that. That was. Uh, a magical moment for me. No more. I ask this, I'm a priest. There is a painting. No, which painting? There is. Can you believe that? I still, when I think of that, it was a miracle. It was a vision. Yeah. They gave me, they gave me a vision. Wow. Your life is like that. It's always been like that. You followed, you came to New York when you, from from Italy, from, um, Milan. from Milan, yeah. Following a, a vision, following something, the quest for the grail. That's it. Yeah. Following the star, Don Quixote. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ciao, Bill. Okay, Let's I'll, I'll close it now. But um, I'll I'll send you the link to this so you can watch it yourself. Okay. Okay, thank you. Send me the, the phone number that you are in. We can connect. 
Okay, my phone is broken though, but I'll send it. Maybe you can get through. You know, let's okay. see. Ariana, okay. we're going to make another one later on, okay? About method okay. of whatever, okay? We do another one and one and four, so I explain my method, my technique. Okay, do you Maybe want to say, someone, uh, do you want to say anything need... more before I close? Would you like to say that anything? I'm very grateful to the universe. We met, we met in New York. How many years ago? 30? In the 90s, I guess, right? I'm going to go, yeah. God. That 30 years. Special. Friendship of 30 years. I'm, I'm going to end it now, and then we'll, we'll contact again, OK? And big hug to Shuyen, OK? OK, OK. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>